all right a very good evening everyone and uh, welcome again to the covid 21 uh, live quiz series that's happening by uh, that's happening through home run quizzes in the time of the lockdown so right now again it hardly feels like we are on the number 18 of this quiz series it just feels like we started this yesterday so uh, good to see all of you so without further ado let's just start off with uh, the quiz and uh, as you know how we do this is discussing with yesterday's questions and answers so yesterday we had a beautiful beautiful uh, set curated by Samirin Mondal and uh, another quizzer another really good folk with who's with us based in Pune uh, so yeah had the questions from him in yesterday's quiz so let's go with those so construction of what began in the year 1975 and uh, its journey basically started yesterday sometime uh, in the later half of the 20th century. So uh, basically this is the Columbia's space shuttle is what we wanted there. Okay, uh, Just a question to start with commemorating the date 12th of April which also happened to be coincide with the Easter. So the next question, Joanna Billy wrote a poem about whom? So Ahilya Bai Holkar is the person that you see in the image there. So Ahilya Bai Holkar. So question three. So this was the simplest of the lot. Most of you got this. So Viz Dump and this person born in Pune. His name is Ritviz is how we know him popularly. So Ritviz, the musician. Uh, have been quite going viral through out the couple of times that uh, has been having so yeah it was is what we wanted there the next question so which person's most famous work and the question just talked about a few things like something has been hidden but something is also visible at the same time so this is the apple okay so Rene Marguerite's uh, the son of man is the painting that we talked about here so the green ample facing, uh, you know, blocking the whole face of that person, the person who's standing. So that famous painting, we wanted that answer there. So the next question, what was shipped to Australia? And uh, basically, this is the Noro province, okay, the Republic of Noro, okay, it's N A U R U, which is basically known throughout the world for uh, going through phosphate. So phosphate mining is what happens at Nauru. So that's question 5. Question 6, simple and uh, lovely question there. Again, uh, most of you got this one. So basically, this are watermelon. Okay, The yellow color might have been a just little, add a little bit of confusion, but then the red one was very obvious. So, uh, crotchets inspired from watermelons. So the next question. So what led to the you know damaging of this particular uh, thing that you see so eruption of pond to Vesuvius is what we wanted there okay simple one most of you got this and uh, again one of the simpler questions from the set based on unfortunate events so titanic and this is basically the cutlery that was used in the titanic so and uh, simon prince is again uh, the person associated with the whole thing so titanic is what we wanted there and the last question from the set of unfortunate events. So called his friends and uh, basically Andres Escobar is the person that we wanted in this question. Okay. The footballer. Alright. So coming to the themed set of questions. So the theme also turned out to be a little bit difficult. Uh, but anyway, like most of you got like two two of the answers in the whole theme set of questions were uh, turned out to be really simple and uh, yeah so Samir had also like kept the whole uh, as you as you go through and proceed through the questions the questions do get difficult so he had kept that uh, little bit of uh, thing from his side so according to Jack Lightburn what did they popularize so the Bermuda shots is what we wanted here so I'll come to and uh, give out the theme at the end of the live question so once we discuss those so Bermuda shots right after that is uh, this place is basically called a thousand island but if you practically see it this is just basically one island uh, so now probably if you can think of what could be the theme it's just gonna get simpler so the next question 
so jerusalem artichokes was the name of this flower is the name of this flower after came panama hat and panama canal all right that's president roosevelt and then the final question uh, from the theme sort of rounds and the quiz uh, so head cheese is what we wanted in this one head cheese so basically these were misnomers so similarly if i were to give an example uh, particularly this particular place okay the cause of the cause itself a thousand island but it's literally one island so that's basically an example of a misnomer so that was the theme for yesterday's quiz last set of questions so again thanks a lot samiran for uh, providing us with the questions and uh, also if you are looking for what to have us so uh, you can just send us uh, recommendations about the questions that you would like to see similarly we would love to host a quiz from your side so if you uh, would love to you know have your content featured in on our page and uh, maybe also why not post the event so would love to have you so please just drop us a message okay so uh, yeah we are open to many different things so here are the winners for yesterday's quiz topping the quiz uh, was anshul with 13 points for by 9.5 was one particular score that uh, many people had so satvik gorav uh, rajeshri and uh, mr vinay handa had all those uh, 13 sorry 9.5 points and uh, then later came uh, Okay, there just seems to be one error. There should not be another something. So yeah, all right. So kudos to all of you. Thanks a lot for uh, joining in. Please do join us and uh, send. Keep on sending us your answers. So we this is something that we do every day on Facebook uh, at 7:30 p.m. And uh, as the dates have been extended for the lockdown, we of course have planned to you know take this forward and do this quiz till the end of the lockdown. So. Definitely this quiz is going to happen till the end of this particular month. So without further ado, let's just start off with today's quiz and probably if you're joining us for the very first time, let me just explain you how this is going to work. So uh, we'll be asking you a set of total of uh, 15 questions in a series and then what you have to do is uh, you can just send your answers to the number that you see on the screen. All right. And if probably you're using a mobile device, what you can do is you can just note down your answers on a piece of paper. And then just take a picture of the, your answers and just send it across to us. So that's one way in which you can take part in this quiz. And uh, for the next day, we will give out what the results and the winners of the quiz are. So let's start off with the quiz. So here's the format for today. One to five are going to be some dry questions, okay? Plain, simple, uh, based on no particular theme. 6 to 10 are going to be in based on uh, capital cities and questions 10 to 14 will be based on a certain theme and for, uh, you're going to be getting 2 points if you also get the theme correct okay so the theme again for today is uh, something very simple which will be very obvious once uh, the questions are going to be coming up on the screen so there's that let's just start off with the quiz for today so which word originated like this all right so it says again a simple very very simple question there so old french so barata that says to deceive and then english baratry and then we get the word that i'm looking for so in middle english probably from old french barata that means deceive so which word is this and also at any point of time if you guys are uh, having just any clarification or you're looking for any more hints uh, you can just comment your uh, doubts or uh, any particular thing that you would like to add me to the quiz so yeah So that's question one. Let's go to question two. Looking for one word answer there. Which word originated like this? That's question one. Here's question two. So again, a simple one. Just identify which is this blanked out structure. So I'm looking for the answer to the building that you see onto the very right of your screen. Okay. So which is that particular structure?
okay has a very significant and particular shape distinctive shape it kind of marked the iconic location and also we'll just give out a hint uh, the name of the geographical location where it's based in also share its name with the structure that i want you guys to identify okay so which structure is that okay, it has a very distinctive shape and uh, style of the exterior and the facade so which structure is that all right again should be a simple one you see a lot of uh, tall tree standing structures there so that's from where i got the whole funda and this particular question let's go to question 3 okay similar question this is said to have inspired the shape of which structure all right so think of why i have uh, i must have used structure and uh, not just any other uh, word because i just wanted to keep it a bit tough so just have a good look at the middle image okay so if you peel that uh, orange into the size of the pieces that you get and you arrange themselves and the whole structure that i want you guys to identify looks in that shape okay? it looks something like that so very much workable just have a good look at the second and the third image would help you all right one answer this is said to have inspired the shape of which structure questions today again uh, are simple so let's go to question four all right so you see one encyclopedia and the name for it is called bulbapedia all right i just want you guys to identify this is the encyclopedia for what okay So this is the encyclopedia about what? Again, visual hints and visual uh, images are definitely going to help you come to the answers. So think of what it resembles like. All right. And now think of something else. So the name and also the image that we've used here or the logo of Bulbapedia will definitely help you come to the answer. So what has uh, or is this the basically the encyclopedia of what? Right, that's question four. Let's go to question five. So, this Google Doodle from the year 2018 marks the 136th birth anniversary of which British author? Okay, looking for uh, her name. Which British author is this? Okay, let's go to the set of questions which are based on uh, capital cities. So, question six to ten are based on. Uh, the name of one capital city particularly uh, i've kept the questions like that it is only i'm going to be asking you about the name of uh, the capital city and uh, nothing to the city. so here's the first question from that particular uh, capital city set question six so this city hosted the summer olympic games in the year 1900 where women athletes participated for the very first time so it again hosted the games in the year 1924 where the games consisted of 131 events across 20 sports and for it it was the first uh, place or the olympics for which a special olympic village was built okay. so which city are we talking about okay, so a city that hosted the summer olympics twice 1900 and 1924 so which city is this ok 
Okay, that's question six. Looking for the name of a city. Here's question seven. With 54.3 heavy metal bands per one, uh, sorry, 100,000 of the population, this city has become the mecca for heavy metal. Okay, so along with being the capital city, this city is also known as the capital of heavy metal because it has got a lot of population of uh, these different bands that are there. So which city is this? So for today, we'll be accepting uh, your answers till 8.20 p.m. So make sure you send us out your answers by 8.20 p.m. Just I'm going to also make sure I write that in the comment section. So make sure you send us out your answers by 8.20 p.m. Alright, question 7. Capital of heavy metal and also the capital of one particular country. So which city is this? Let's go to question 8. So x okay, or uh, one variable which is the name of a city has the parliament and is thus the legislative capital. The administrative capital is Y and is home to the president and the cabinet. And Z is the seat of the Supreme Court of Appeal, which makes it the judicial capital. So give the name of all these three. So given the fact that I've, I'm gonna I'm asking you about uh, three capital cities from uh, one particular country, now you must have narrowed it down to one country. But what I'm looking for is the particular names. So three different names. And also with your answers, please do specify X, Y, and Z. So it's just going to be easier for us to correct. Okay. So with your answer, we're also expecting that you point out which is X, which is Y, and which is Z. So which three cities are these? X is the parliament and is the legislative capital. Administrative capital is home to the president and the cabinet. And Z is the seat of Supreme Court of Appeal and is the judicial capital. So looking for the name of these three. So we'll give you one point each if you get uh, one part right. So that also makes the quiz for today with a total of 14 plus 2 points for the team plus another 2. So the quiz for today has got 18 points at stakes in total. So there's going to be a good variation of points in the scores for this one as well. So that's question 8. Let's go to question 9. So this particular pagoda is located in which city? Again, a very famous one. And probably if I just have to add something, uh, this is one of the neighboring cities for India. And the name of this city is going to make you, because the name is just something very hard to pronounce and also spell. So probably if that helps you. So which is this city where uh, lies this pagoda? Okay, that's question 9 and the final question from the cities set okay here we are question 10 which city is famously planned with this five finger concept and uh, which kind of also explain so basically to the right what you see is the coast. That's where the city city began. And then the plan was what they did was just like you have your palm or your fingers or uh, your hand to build a city in that particular fashion. So it's going to be easier for uh, everyone to commute and come to the city center and uh, do their work and then later go back without causing a lot of congestion to the whole city. So which famous city was planned with this five finger concept? 
ओके दैट्स क्वेश्चन टेन एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द कैपिटल सिटी थीम Here's the four remaining question for the quiz, which are based on another theme. And also, uh, please do make sure that with your answers, you are also giving giving out what the theme for question 11 to 14 is going to be. Okay. Here's the first question from the theme set of questions. Which name and concept came about in the year 1883 when a printer in Wyoming working on a regular product? product ran out of white paper and used dash paper instead okay so what is that something so the story goes like this person was working on something and he had generally used to use white paper but then he ran out of that whole white paper and then he used something else okay so what came like that so this was way back 1883 so think of at that point of time the things that were very universal you know you had to have those to make sure uh, you are connected to people so and at one point of time this person ran out of white paper and then used a different paper i'm not going to point out what particularly that is okay so this i'm going to read okay i'm just going to give out what the hint that i gave you so think of something from uh, that whole time because you just wanted to be connected to people and you had to have that thing in your house or your home so what is that thing okay we'll stick to that one on question 11 and uh, talking about sticking here's question 12 identify this okay should be enough so what is this all right that's question 12 from the theme what is this so look at the whole shape of uh, the things that you see and of course i've planned out the whole name of what i'm looking for that's question 12 here's question 13 so what is the rhyming name of this shade of this particular color which means pleasantly smooth or soft and it's free from harshness okay so how you can come to the answer to this question is so i've given you a thing of the color in the image okay that you see to your right so take that color and think of one rhyming word so that is the shade of the whole color and then the shade of the color it has its meaning as pleasantly smooth or soft and it's free from harshness so what is this okay that's question 13 so this looking for the rhyming name of this particular shade of the color really do not need the color for as an answer in this question i'm looking for the rhyming name of the shade of the color. i'm looking for the shade of the color all right that's question 13 and the final question for today so near the end of the 18th century french trappers named this particular river roche jean okay pardon my french later american trappers rendered this french name in english So it is now commonly believed that the river was named for the color of the rocks seen in the Grand Canyon. So which river is this? Okay, looking for the name of a river. 
So which river is this? Okay, that brings an end to the questions for today. Let's quickly cycle back through all the questions. So here's question 14 and uh, just if you have not been able to come to any answer, just take some guesses. Definitely uh, there is no negative, there are no negative points. So your guesses might just be right. So just fill in your answers and uh, make sure you give us out the answers. Send your answers to us by 8.20 p.m. Right, here's question 14. Here's question 13. So looking for the shade of this color. Question 12 is what is this brand? Question 11. So what concept came in? Because this person who was working on one product ran out of white paper and used something else. Okay. So coming to the questions on capital cities, which city is famously planned with the five finger concept? So this pagoda is located in which city? Question 8. Looking for three names of three different cities. Question 7. The capital of heavy metal and also the capital of one country. Question 7. Question 6. Is city hosted the Summer Olympics in 1900 and 1924? Question 5. Who is this British author? What is this the encyclopedia for? Question 4. Question 3 is what is said to inspire the shape of uh, this particular st structure? Question 13. Question 12 is identify this building to your right. And finally, question 1 which word originated with uh, the old French word for burrito? Okay, that brings an end to the quiz for today. So, looking forward to your answers and uh, make sure you send your answers by 8.20 p.m. So, the time I end this is 8.09 and uh, with the lag it should be around 8.10. So, yeah. And uh, let your friends know about this. We, this is something that we do every day and uh, would love to have more people uh, for this one. So, Thanks a lot guys. Do join us tomorrow as well. Very much looking forward to your answers. Uh, good night and goodbye. See you tomorrow. Thanks for joining.